Remember Project Muhan, that big project that was Samsung, Google, and Qualcomm all together? Forget it. This is Samsung Galaxy XR, the product of that collaboration. And we're about to get an up close look and try it out for ourselves. So here we have it, Samsung Galaxy XR. I'm getting, you know, I'm gonna start with the price, $17.99. So that is a very exciting price point for a mixed reality spatial computer because that's what it is basically. So it's got both pass-through and fully immersive. At the center of all of this is Gemini, Google Gemini. So that's kind of the secret sauce. Yes, you'll be using gestures to move things around, to touch and move and grab, but you'll be talking to this device. And because it has Google Gemini AI inside of it, it'll understand. You'll be able to interact with different apps, of course, all of the Google apps, but also other third-party apps, even gaming. If you're playing a game, you'll be able to circle to search and ask questions. If you're confused about how to use an app, you can ask. It's all going to work here. The other thing is you might notice I'm just holding this with one hand like this, 536 grams, right? This is super light. It's a mixture of aluminum, glass, and a bunch of other plastic materials. One thing that I'm not showing right now that is missing from here is the battery pack. Plugs up right there. Don't know how much battery life it has yet. We're gonna to to try that out, but we do know that it's dual 4K AMOLED displays right here. It's the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 chip inside of it. So that is powering pretty much everything that goes on inside of it. Also, you know, as I said, 536 grams and really easy to put on, really lightweight. It actually feels pretty good. You know, we're gonna try things out like audio, but I'm gonna be using gestures to control it, my voice to control it. The fact that this is starting at $17.99. Now, when you buy the $17.99, get the Explorer pack, you're actually going to get a bunch of things with it, like Gemini Pro for a year. You're going to get a bunch of things, which after the time expires, you'll have to pay for them. Coming out October 21st, it's called Samsung Galaxy XR. And now we're gonna dive in and see what it's like to use this experience. So I just had my first full hands-on experience with the Samsung Galaxy XR. In some ways it's instantly familiar because I spent so much time with Apple's Vision Pro. There's a bunch of little gestures, you're pinching, you're zooming, you turn your finger around to pinch and the whole menu comes up and the menu, yes, it again feels similar. You've got your icons floating in space, full of icons that are familiar to you. And of course, all of the Google apps are already in there. So we had a lot of different experiences. I looked at a map. I looked at a map because I was looking at photos, spatial photos, photos that started out as regular photos are now spatial photos, full 3D. And I asked questions. I interrogated Gemini, which is part of it. What is this? Where is it? What is the building behind them? They told me about the hotel. What are the mountains behind them? They told me it was Yosemite Park. I said, take me to the hotel. It instantly opened up Google Maps, located in space. Now I could look at Google Maps that way, or I could take a, a journey on a beautifully rendered 3D space, the whole map over the terrain. Again, I'm always using my hands. I'm doing this, I'm pinching, I'm zooming. One of the differences between this and Vision Pro is that we've oftentimes got this like tether to things. So you've got this like little line and you see it there. In some ways, super similar you know, taking the window and moving it around, you grab it, move it here, take it, resize it. Mostly I was able to really capture it easily and move things around. On the pass-through, it looks great, clear. I did notice when I turn my head side to side, it seemed to almost pixelate a little bit. I couldn't quite figure that out just at the moment, but not a big deal. I also did a full immersion. Now this, doesn't start with these little covers here. You put them on, they're magnetic. These are a better seal. I had an experience with like a black hole. Basically, I learned all about a black hole. Beautifully rendered. The spatial audio is excellent. So it's really, you know, visually, really high quality. As far as the fit and feel of it, it feels lighter than, for example, the Vision Pro, even the Quest 3S. It feels well balanced. The pressure is mainly here. I tightened it well enough that the lens would sit. It felt like it sat high, but that's how I lined this up to my eyes. Oh, and the ones that they had for me, yes, we did put in prescription lenses, which are about $99. You know, that's going to be an extra expense. But generally, I like the experience of it. It felt good. I could wear it if I wanted for two hours, two and a half hours if I'm just watching video, but two hours is generally going to be the thing. And then Finally, this was the attachment for the battery pack, which sat, was tethered a line, sat next to me. If the battery were on here, it would be much heavier. Glad it's not. Overall, good experience. That's what it's like to wear Samsung's new Samsung Galaxy 
XR headset. Stick with techradar.com for all the details about pricing, availability, and our experience.